Hello everybody, I'm Midnight Mothman and today we're playing ROV, a game where we are controlling an underwater deep sea recovery unit. Um, as you can see, there's a content warning of thalassophobia and submechanophobia. Those are two things that really get me, so I, I do hope um, that this is the game that legitimately scares me for the first time. Um, yeah, let's get right in. These are a lot of controls. Um, I don't have an American keyboard. Um, I've set it to it, but I, there's really no way for me to look on my keyboard and say, oh, this is the button here. So if it takes a bit longer for me to do the things that I'm expected to do, please uh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I take, I'm taking a photo of this and we'll get right in. Okay, so, camera, a second one, which is kind of further away actually, wouldn't this one be better to use all the time? And then there's, uh, okay, I can control it like this, I think this one opens and closes it, this rotates it, and this Okay, that makes sense. Um, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was a bit confused. Uh, WASD controls the camera while uh, the, the arrow keys control the arm. I think this is further in? Yes. And this is What's down? This way. Because we need to go collect sample 1, 6509. I already see something there. There's like a little light. 600509. Almost there. This looks way too realistic. Honestly, spooks the hell out of me, if I'm being honest. the hell is that? Ugh. Ugh. Disgusting. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, we go in. And we turn around. And we go in. We turn around. Oh, we're too, f too close, right? I think the arm could maybe... How do I... Those sounds in the background are legitimately unnerving to me right now. Come on, stop it. Uh, and now we... Take it. Come on, take it. And we have a container here, I think. How do I extend? Let's look at our camera thingy here. This should extend it, right? Did this work? Oh no. Come on. 
Oh, there we go. Go in there. Oh, what was that sound? Ugh. We need to go further down. You know what? Let's turn a bit and we go down. For some reason, the right control, I didn't realize it manipulated tilt. Oh no. Don't make those sounds. Wait, we're, we're too far. 670. Stop making those sounds, come on. I don't wanna hear that. <laughs> Forward and return. Sorry if I'm a bit quiet, but uh, this is actually nerve wracking to me. Ugh. I, I don't know if this is as if this is realistic. It looks way realistic to me. It's unnerving. I really hate under underwater stuff. So if you ever want to get me with something. This is it. Oh, my claw. And no. Nope. Oh, no. I can't pay for this. I think we need to... You need to turn the angle a little bit, otherwise... Oh, I don't like going into the nothingness of... Ugh. There we go. Grab it. I don't like those noises. So six thousand five hundred no six thousand six hundred fifteen. The, why is there something all the way back there? Also, I'm too high up or uh, down. I don't want to go there. This is going to be a jump scare. Come on. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm literally... Uh, this is we're not getting closer. I think this is gonna be like a gigantic sea beast, Cthulhu. Is that?
ein Anglerfisch. Okay. Well, you know what? That jump scare is fine. Like, I don't... Fishes, I don't mind. But the... The really... Uh... I, I can't even describe it, honestly. It's like a... Extreme weird atmosphere underwater. You you don't really hear anything. And anything you hear is weird. There's like, I guess it was supposed to be a whale noise. But I mean, if you ever listen to the bloop, do yourself a favor if you haven't, and Google or YouTube uh, search the bloop. It is really unnerving. The, the atmosphere is unnerving. And I think what's fantastic about this is that the controls are really weird. So you'd never feel like you have complete control over this. Um, graphically, it looks, it just looks real. The only thing missing is like little particles floating in front of the, in front of the camera. Maybe like a weird fish or two, or like a um, an octopus or something. Like those are the things. If you if you look at footage like this that I see sometimes. Aside from this, it looked, it looked way too realistic for me. I I love this. Sound effects clever feel raw. Okay. Now I know where I uh, know that from. I love that movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time, actually. <laughs> I enjoyed this. I, I love this. And I hope you did too. And before I forget, if you like this video, I upload videos on my YouTube regularly and I stream on Twitch. Monday, Wednesday and Friday, Central European Summertime. See you next time. Bye bye.